the Honda FT500 Escott came to light in the early 1980s as a version with more marked road qualities of its XL Enduro sister. Extremely robust and economical in consumption, with incredible ability to tackle even long journeys, very simple to maintain, dimensionally also suitable for comfortable passenger transport, and with a look that is certainly not aggressive, but still soberly elegant. Starting from the technical base of the CMX500 Rebel Bobber, the new FT500 Escott distances itself quite a bit from it, as a more serious motorcycle not at all inclined to temporary fads, but of enormous substance. The well-known automotive manufacturer Honda is back in the spotlight with the emergence of rumors surrounding the launch of their newest model, the Honda FT500 Escort. In the past, the Honda FT500 Escort is a single-cylinder, 497cc motorbike produced by Honda during the early 1980s. FT stands for flat track, imported from Japan as a 1982 and 1983 model. But for the upcoming models, the new Honda FT500 Escort will be using a 471cc two-cylinder engine, which was previously used successfully on the Honda Rebel. This engine is known as a reliable and powerful engine, providing optimal performance for drivers. This rumor has become a hot topic of conversation among motorbike lovers, especially those who like classic style and high performance. The Honda FT500 Escort is expected to be an attractive choice for those looking for a combination of iconic design and the latest technology. Unfortunately, Honda is still keeping official information regarding the technical specifications, features and price of the Honda FT500 Escort a secret. However, with the emergence of rendering images by Obert and Bezzi, fans can get a visual idea of the design that this model might sport. Today we would call it an intelligent motorbike, many have survived, and after years of oblivion where many specimens have undergone horrendous mutilations by self-styled preparers to transform them into pseudo-scramblers etc. They are today sought after in their original conditions by a fair number of passionate enthusiasts. This could push Honda to repropose a motorbike that philosophically and why not even formally closely resembles this model.